keep an eye out on Arsenal's transfer window. It's not over. Mikel Arteta has just given us a major hint that he's going to be signing more players come this transfer window. And also, Balogun has spoken about his future at the club. We're going to get into that. In addition to that, there is a major, major transfer link today to two players, two international players. We're going to get into those. But before we go any further, Smash a like on the video, hit that subscribe button. Let me know where you guys are watching from because I always want to know that. And my question of the day is, do you believe that Mikel Arteta and Arsenal could pull off one more major summer transfer window signing? Let me know what you guys think. Here we go. Yes, 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 people. What's going on? So we're going to talk about Mikel Arteta and we're going to talk about all the stuff going around with Mikel Arteta over in America. But before we go any further, make sure you guys hit that like button and let me know, would you take Joao Felix at Arsenal? Because reportedly today, Joao Felix has been linked to Arsenal. Yes, Joao Felix has been linked to Arsenal once again. I'll show you guys the report right here. So our, uh, uh, according to reports, Arsenal... Are, uh, are in the market for a forward this summer and draw Felix from Atletico Madrid that played for Chelsea last transfer window, uh, last summer, uh, I mean, last uh, joins Chelsea in January, is now a potential January, uh, summer transfer target for Arsenal. So let me know in the comment section, would you guys take draw Felix, yes or no? For me, I personally think he is better than Eddie Nketiah and some of the guys that we have. But I'm sick and tired of this gimmick where it's like we continuously try to fix players. Mikel Arteta always trying to fix players that are somewhat broken or somewhat not okay. So this is the situation. Uh, Gunnar Blog, of course, Arsenal podcaster and, and close to the club, said that there is room for one more attacker. And maybe it could be a, an opportunistic signing. Purely speculative, but my part... What I might keep an eye on is draw Felix to Arsenal. Now, let me know in the comment section, would you guys take draw Felix to Arsenal? Personally, for me, I understand why we might want to sign him, but I, uh, but we already just signed Kai Havertz. We, we, have a new, we have a bunch of new signings already through the door. I don't think draw Felix is that guy who pushes us over the edge to help us win a league title. Personally, for me, I would stay clear. And I know his wages are ridiculous. And Atletico Madrid offer, asked for some ridiculous wages. But for me, I, I would stay clear. But if Mikel Arteta thinks he can do something with him and he constantly does this gimmick where he thinks he can improve players, I don't know. Personally, for me, I stay clear. I don't want nothing to do with him. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you guys think that the draw Felix to Arsenal rumors are legitimate. And if you would take draw Felix... At Arsenal, let me know what you guys think about that. As there is more to get into today's show, and I'm going to get into it right now. Now, with that being said, Thomas Partey could potentially be leaving, and of course, people are saying Romeo Lavia is not the perfect replacement for Thomas Partey. But you know who could be the perfect replacement for Thomas Partey? A German international, a player who has done it for Bayern Munich year in year out serial winner, a guy who can play in the midfield and do everything. I am talking about none other than the man himself, Joshua Kimmich. Reports say, uh, coming out from Football London earlier today, uh, and of course coming out from Germany, that Thomas Partey's future, is, of course, is it uh, is of course being spoken about. But at this moment in time, Romeo Lavia uh, could be the potential replacement. But of course, Liverpool, Chelsea are also interested in the 19-year-old. Another option has come up earlier this window, and that is Bayern Munich star Joshua Kimmich. Now, the Spanish outlet Marca are reporting that the North London club are admirers of Joshua Kimmich and establishing. Uh, establishing that he's one of the best and the most consistent players in the Bundesliga. It could be a situation where we could get ourselves 
Joshua Kimmich. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't think anybody in the chat would turn down Joshua Kimmich. This would be an ideal replacement for Thomas Partey, somebody else who comes in and adds that experience, adds what we need. And I don't even know how old is Kimmich at this moment in time. I, I want to know, would you guys take Joshua Kimmich at Arsenal? He's 28 years old, still in his prime. If he was to go to a Liverpool or to somebody else, it would hurt us more because he would be directly strengthening a rival of ours. Could Liverpool pull off this transfer? Could Arsenal pull off this transfer? Could anybody pull off this transfer? Bayern Munich's key man, of course, wants to leave Bayern Munich. And if he, if we could get him, guys, I would be ecstatic. This would be an amazing, amazing transfer for Arsenal Football Club. Let me know what you guys think. Would you guys take Joshua Kimmich at Arsenal? And how much money do you think he'd end up going for? I think we'd have to pay an absorbent amount of money bring him in so we'll have to wait and see where things lie with that at this moment in time there's just so many things to be spoken about but yeah that is just one more on the list of things that we needed to speak about today so next on the list we're going to talk about the man the myth the legend nicholas pepe <laughs> you know what nicholas pepe he is somebody who Arsenal wants to get rid of this transfer window. We're going to try to our best to sell him. There are a lot of players that are going to be going as outgoings very soon. But Nicolas Pepe is the next one on the list. Now, if you guys don't know, Nicolas Pepe has had attracted some interest across uh, across, uh, across uh, the pond over... Why am I saying across the pond? Across the world, as Saudi Arabia, there's clubs in Saudi Arabia that are interested in Nicolas Pepe, and Nicolas Pepe is now interested in the move. This would be ideal for Arsenal because we could potentially get his wages off the wage bill, and this would be amazing. Reported from James Benz yesterday that uh, Nicolas Pepe has been approached by Saudi clubs, but at the moment, there's a big difference between his wage expectations and what they would be willing to pay. Now, I know nobody across Europe is going to be paying Nicolas Pepe the kind of wages that they would be paying him in Saudi Arabia, or I don't think anybody else across Europe at this moment in time wants Nicolas Pepe. So, of course, if we can get him off the books, it would be ideal. But, uh, but at this moment in time, that is the report going around with Nicolas Pepe. Now, let me tell you guys, today there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. But another major story, another major story is the Balogun situation. Now, I'm just going to tell you guys this. The Balogun situation is straightforward. Balogun could potentially be sold this summer transfer window. Mikel Arteta has spoken about it, and I'm going to get to that in a second. But another major part is that there's new clubs now entering the race. We've already known about Inter Milan wanting him, but now even Brighton from the Premier League are interested in him. Crystal Palace are interested in him. And, of course, West Ham are interested in him. So if he was to stay in the Premier League, how much goals do you think he would score at any of those clubs? I think he would do quite well at Brighton, Crystal Palace, and West Ham. Now, I know some of you guys don't want to sell a Balogun, but the rumor is that Balogun is closer and closer to, a, to an exit. And it's a situation where, of course, we're going to have to analyze and see how he does over the next coming days. But it does look like we might be closer to seeing Balogun leaving than him staying, in my opinion. And Balogun had this to say about his future. Let me just go... And see if I can if I can bring this up for you guys in a second. Let me bring this up for you guys. What Balogun had to say about his own future. Let me see if I can play it for you guys. One second. Yes, I mean um, I was away for the year, so I'm just back. I'm obviously just focused on preseason with the team. Uh, it's nice to see everyone, uh, the staff. But I'm really just focused here, and uh, of course my agent and my family are dealing with this. So, yeah, he's just basically saying he's focused on football and his agent and his family are dealing with everything. He's not really he's not really uh, saying he's going to be staying at Arsenal. He's not really saying he's going to be leaving. He's just focusing on his preseason and getting himself ready. Now, Mikel Arteta did also speak about this. So let's let me show you guys what Mikel Arteta had to say about Balogun and the whole situation with Balogun as we are going to go through all of these little quotes here and there. So Mikel Arteta spoke about Balogun. Where is his quote on Balogun's future? Here it is. Obviously had an incredible season out of France. Yeah. What are you, your thoughts from this season? Is he, is he going to stay put? Well, great because uh, obviously he's done incredibly well. Um, and now we have to think uh, what is best to do. But um, we want to see him. We want to experience him in the next uh, few games. He played last game against Nuremberg and, and he will do again the next few games. And they will make the, the best decision. Basically, I view that and I listen to that. And I, what it tells me is that they, they're not 100% sure what they're going to do with Balogun yet, if they're going to keep him, if they're going to sell him. But of course, they're keeping the options open. Now, this is what Mikel Arteta had to say when asked whether Arsenal are expected to add any more signings this transfer window. Um, 
time is still in, in the market and a lot of expectations um, are in, in some of our players as well. So we'll have to see and how things develop in the next uh, couple of weeks. And uh, we'll be alert. It's still time to do things. It's still time as well for exit, obviously. So I'm sure things will move. When he's saying that, well, I'm sure things will move. I'm pretty sure he just means uh, uh, we're still open. He's hinting that there's going to be more transfers. And I do believe there will be more transfers. Now, if those transfers will be Joshua Kimmich or Joao Felix, that's now a different conversation for a different day, right? Now, before we go any further, make sure you hit that like button. If you've gotten this far in the video, please do hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think about this video so far. And of course, would you want Joao Felix or Joshua Kimmich? And of course, would you want uh, uh, Fulham Balogun to stay at Arsenal? Because it is reported that he might be leaving and there are clubs lining up across Europe to get him the most recent Brighton showing interest. Now, let me show you guys some things about the new Arsenal kit the yellow kit has been released this is going to be arsenal's away kit uh arsenal's away kit has been announced this is going to be arsenal's away kit going into next season we we're going to be wearing those the zebra stripe type uh kits yeah or it's going to be sorry it's, yeah, it's not zebra it's not white and black it's yellow and black but still I'm not going to lie. I'm not that big of a fan. Let me know what you guys think about the kit. Personally, for me, I rate it like a 4 out of 10. I'm not a big fan. I think a lot of people don't like it either. But yeah, there's the kit right there. Uh, we're going to be really, really bright away from home. <laughs> it's not really traditional Arsenal colors at all. I know Arsenal do wear yellow quite often, but yellow and black, they, yeah, I'm just not a fan. Personally, I can't get myself into this kit. This kit does really make me feel like it's very different from what we've ever seen what we've seen before at arsenal and it's just like the downgrade that we've made from what we had last season the black kit to this kit is just it's just humongous like imagine that black kit was so beautiful so silky uh you could wear that out you can wear that anywhere i don't think you can wear this yellow kit anywhere man maybe carnival or something but not <laughs> not anywhere else but yeah, that's enough about enough about that. Let's get into some of the other stuff. So yeah, we already spoke about Balogun. We already spoke about Mikel Arteta hinting at, at more signings potentially. Um, we've seen the new kit. Now, let's get into something in regards to the the Kieran Tierney. Now there are claims that Kieran Tierney to Newcastle was going to be a thing, but I don't really see any more links to Kieran Tierney to Newcastle. So at this moment in time, Kieran Tierney, Kieran Tierney to Newcastle is not a story at this moment in time Kieran Tierney is still with the squad and plans to stay with the squad until things change Newcastle haven't made any bids so we cannot say Kieran Tierney is going to be leaving and let me know in the comment section would you guys want Kieran Tierney to stay because personally for me I'm okay with him staying now Chelsea have made another bid for Moises Caicedo if Brighton want Caicedo sold and they want Fulham Balogun why don't we try to give them Balogun and some cash for, for Caicedo that, I think that would be an amazing deal for us but Chelsea are looking like they're going to get the deal for Caicedo done eventually. They just had their next, their second bid rejected as they have offered 70 million and it was just rejected by Brighton earlier today. Now, uh, we've already spoken about the kit. Uh, Ray Parler talking about some stuff. Mikel Arteta. Uh, where's, the, where's the next thing? Oh, here we go. Reese Nelson. Unfortunately, Reese Nelson has picked up an injury and is going to miss the uh, preseason and could potentially miss even longer. Now, reports are that Reese Nelson's injury is not as bad as uh, as we think. But let me just double check what what they were saying because I, I I think James Benj was the person who reported this, and I'm just going to pull it up as we speak right now. Uh, yeah. So Reese Nelson's injury, if I'm not mistaken, Reese Nelson's injury was reported. Yes, yesterday from uh, Chris, uh, Chris, uh, Chris Wheatley reported it and said he's ruled out for two weeks with a minor toe injury sustained during Arsenal's training in Germany. Reese Nelson will require stitches and his injury, however, optimistic he will return uh, before, uh, before the season starts as he will be expected to return for August 2nd versus Monaco at the em in the Emirates Cup. So that is that is some good news there. With the Reese Nelson, the Reese Nelson situation, uh, we've already spoken about Joshua Kimmich, um, Balogun. Of course, we know about the situation where there's some Premier League clubs now interested in front of Balogun. Uh, of course, French clubs also interested, and we're gonna have to wait and see who actually wants to pay for him. 
Arsenal's title hopes. Uh, of course, Arsenal at this moment in time are second favorites for the t- Premier League title. Liverpool third, Manchester United fourth. Uh, I think that would be my top four also at this moment in time, if I'm not going to be uh, mistaken. Manchester United have agreed personal terms with Rasmus Hoyland. Doesn't really affect Arsenal, so we're going to keep it moving from there. And then, yeah, there's some rumors about Mbappe, but nothing in regards to Arsenal around Mbappe. So I'm not going to really take too much information out of that. Um, let me just see if there's anything else that we need to go through quickly. Um, yeah, so we already spoke about Saudi Arabia, Nicolas Pepe. We already spoke about Fulham Balogun talking about his future. Um, yeah, Inter are interested in offering 40 million euros. We're going to have to lower our valuation if, if, if we accept that. Arsenal are going to be playing uh, against the uh, MLS All-Stars in a skills competition. I didn't know Benteke was uh, was there, so it's going to be happening later today. That is that. And let me just see if there's any more stuff before we continue. Um, could we go back in for uh, Could we go back in for Caicedo? I don't know. Balogun, Arsenal are going to have to lower their valuation if we want to sell him. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the full kit, so the socks are, are black and yellow. The shorts are black and yellow. And then you got the back of the shirt is just basically blank. And then the front is with the zigzags and the dots, right? And then let's just keep going through, keep going through. Is there anything else? Um, they're speaking about Arsenal's potential, Partey's potential departure. You know what? I haven't actually mentioned Partey. Oh, Arsenal, an, also an Arsenal youngster has gone on loan to a second division, second division side, Colchester United. So do please do notice that also. Mikel Arteta speaking about some stuff, mostly about Balogun. Omar Rekic is potentially going to be sold. Asking price is 3.5 million uh, if we do sell Omar Rekic. And then where's the Partey stuff? So here's the most latest news on Partey. Uh, there's a lot of interest in Partey. Arsenal have received offers, but Arsenal are already starting to do due diligence on potential replacements should it be needed. This is this is this is what's being reported from Sky. So let's wait and see if we do actually sell Thomas Partey at this moment in time. I don't know if we're going to officially sell him or, or not yet. But yeah, Thomas Partey and Emil Smith Rowe are due to be joining the squad in New Jersey. Uh, um, in the New Jersey leg of the tour when we're facing Manchester United very, very soon. So we're going to have to, we're going to see if Thomas Partey, if there's any movement on Thomas Partey's transfer uh, anytime soon. But for now, I bid you guys adieu. Let me know what you guys think about the kit. Let me know what you guys think about today's news. Would you take Joshua Kimmich at Arsenal? And how much do you think we'd have to pay to get him? Would you take Joao Felix at Arsenal? And, and, I don't know if you guys would be interested in him after his poor stint at Chelsea. And that's today's Arsenal news. Let me know what you guys think about the video. And of course, if you watch this point up until this point of the video, let me know what is your favorite place in the world to go visit. And it, it can be somewhere where you have visited or if you haven't visited. I just want to know how many of you guys actually get to this point of the video. Big up to you guys in the comment section. And let me know what you guys think on the next video. I'll catch you guys soon. Love for the love, people. I'm out of here. Peace. Oh, one more thing. I just want to say, I got a secret for you guys. I'm going to be doing a kit launch. Uh, sorry, I'm going to be doing a kit giveaway very soon. I'll give you guys more details when, when it comes out.